What is the deal with copper when it comes to sheep? Now, a lot of you have probably been told that sheep cannot have any copper because if they get copper, it is going to kill them. And some of you have probably also heard that there's some specific sheep breeds like as Icelandic sheep that actually need copper. So today we're going to talk all about copper. We're going to talk about what it does, what it doesn't do, and what you need to know when dealing with copper and your sheep. Stay tuned to find out more. Hey everyone, it's Tim from Lenosa Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today. So I wanted to take some time to talk to you specifically about copper and what is going on with sheep and copper. So some of you have been told that sheep do not need any copper. If you give them copper, it's going to kill them. And that's not necessarily true. What we talk about when it comes to sheep and copper is we're talking about bioavailability and tolerance. That is to say, how well do sheep absorb the copper and how well are they able to clear it from their system before they get an overload. Now, sheep, just like all other ruminants, do need copper. They need copper because copper helps with all kinds of things. It helps with muscle development. It helps with neurological development. It helps keep healthy bones and it builds things like blood cells that help carry oxygen and carbon dioxide around the body. It also helps with immunity. So sheep most definitely do need copper, but the issue is, is their tolerance for it isn't so good. They've evolved to be where they are. So what do I mean by that? Well, sheep are ruminants. That means they've got this very special stomach that helps them break down fibrous plants and absorb the nutrients from those plants and get it into their system. And where sheep originally developed, they lived in an environment where they were getting all the copper that they needed from the plant plant life that they were eating. And so what happened was over time, they developed uh, kind of this little dance where they got exactly what they needed. And with that comes the bad side of copper, which is that they have a very, very low tolerance for it. They can't clear it from their system. Now, there are some exceptions when we look at sheep like Icelandic sheep. Icelandic sheep were uh, born and raised in a different part of the world where they actually needed to be able to absorb copper a little bit more easily from their surroundings. And that's why we have this specific breed that actually may, in some cases, need some additional copper added to their diet. But as far as sheep is concerned, usually they get exactly what they need from their forage that they are getting, and they don't need any more, and you don't want to give them any more. And again, we get into that liver. So what happens is, is sheep absorb copper and it is stored in their liver to be used later. So if you give sheep too much copper, essentially what it's going to do is it is going to overwhelm the liver and you're going to get into an issue where you're going to eventually get liver failure and it is going to kill them. So initial signs and symptoms that you may see, maybe some neurological signs, it may be a loss of appetite. You may notice things like scouring, and then the big one is, as that liver starts to fail, is we're going to see jaundice. Just like we see jaundice in human beings when they're going through liver failure, what you're going to see is you're going to see this yellowing color. You're going to see yellowing in the eyes. Uh, even in the whites of the eyes, you can see some yellowing. You're going to see yellowing in the mucous membranes that is in and around the eyes and in and around the mouth. And eventually, uh, the liver is just going to completely shut down and it will kill them. There is nothing that you can give over the counter counter that can help eliminate this copper toxicity. If you start to see signs and symptoms of copper toxicity in your sheep, you are going to want to contact your veterinarian. Although I will tell you in many cases, there isn't a whole lot that they can do either. So it's very important to understand bioavailability. So bioavailability is a term that we use to say, okay, if I am given this nutrient, how well can my body absorb it? And when it comes to copper, there are some different forms of copper that are more bioavailable than others. The top two that come to mind that you may come into contact with would be copper sulfate and the copper oxide wire particles, those little copper boluses. So when we look at those both of those are relatively uh, 
good in bioavailability. Copper sulfate especially has a very good bioavailability. That is to say, if you give it to them, they're going to be able to absorb it really well. And then those copper oxide wire particles, uh, those are relatively uh, easily absorbed into the body as well, although it's a little bit slower process. So you're definitely going to want to avoid giving sheep copper sulfate or giving them any of those copper boluses. Now, this brings up a question that you may have, and that is we also talk about using a 1% copper sulfate oral solution in order to worm properly. If you haven't seen our videos on that, you can check them out right now here. Um, and that is a little bit different. And why it's different is we use a 1% copper sulfate solution. And it. it's a large, large amount of water that we're giving to them with only 1% copper sulfate in it. So it's enough to expose the worm burden that they have in their gastrointestinal tract to that copper, but it's not very well absorbed into their system. How do we know this? Well, we know this because the University of Kentucky did a very lovely study where they actually were drawing blood and testing blood samples off of many, many, many sheep that had been given copper sulfate 1% oral solution, and they were checking to see how much was absorbed into their system. And it appears not to much. So this can be quite a trick, especially for those of you that are raising goats alongside your sheep because goats need a lot of extra copper where sheep don't. So you may have to check out some of our other videos where we tell you specifically how to get the copper to your goats when you are raising them alongside your sheep. I'm Tim from Lone Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today, and I look forward to seeing all of you again next time.